Imagine you're in a lab, staring at a bottle of starting material, knowing that you need to transform it into some desired product. The problem? You have no idea where to start. And that's why I'm so glad that you're here for another episode of Mastering Organic Synthesis. In last week's video, I asked if you could figure out the multi-step synthesis for this chemical transformation. So if you haven't had a chance, pause the video now and try it independently. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'll give you even more synthesis problems to solve for next time. This is a classic example of a synthesis problem that you might find in an organic chemistry class, where you have to turn benzene into some derivatized version, but you need to consider several different types of reaction pathways that may inhibit the ability to synthesize this molecule. Start with the fact that in our product we have a carboxylic acid and a nitro group, both of which are electron withdrawing or, and are going to typically be directing groups that direct in the meta positions. Remember the meta position means that the 1-3 positions will be likely to be substituted. However, notice that in this case, our product, both of these functional groups are located ortho to one another or at the 1-2 position. Therefore, it's likely that we're going to have to do some directing group manipulation where we block certain sites in order to direct things to go to one location over the other. If you consider the retrosynthetic analysis, understanding that we need to end up with a carboxylic acid, we can do an oxidation of an alkyl group in order to get there. And that alkyl group would be an ortho para directing functional group. And that's a great start. So that's where we'll actually begin, is by first placing an alkyl group at this position, which we can use Friedel Crafts alkylation in this case. So if we take, for example, an alkyl chloride in the presence of an iron trichloride Lewis acid catalyst, then we can alkylate at that ortho position. So we can place that group on this position on benzene. And this alkyl group is what's known as an ortho para director, meaning the ortho position or the para position would be the most likely to be substituted following a subsequent electrophilic aromatic substitution. However, notice in our product, we're only looking for the ortho substituted position. And in fact, in most cases, even when you have an ortho para directing group, because of the steric encumbrance that would exist at these ortho positions, the most likely scenario of substitution is going to be at the para position. That's going to be the dominant product. So then what we'll need to do is actually block this para position. But importantly, we can't just block that position with anything. We need to consider the fact that the next substitution where we add on our nitro group needs to happen at this position and not any of the other positions. So for that, we can choose an electron withdrawing group like a sulfonation which would allow us to sulfonate at that para position. So if we add concentrated sulfuric acid, we can do a sulfonation at this position here, where now we are adding on what's known as a meta directing group. And meta to this position is going to be located either here or here, both of which are equivalent in this molecule. So then what would happen is that both of these functional groups, the alkyl chain and the sulfonate, would both be directing the next substitution to the same position. And this is gonna work in tandem in order to give us our product. So now we can do that nitration where we take nitric acid in the presence of H2SO4, and we can nitrate this position here where we can add that nitro group. So we can add that nitro group at that position, and that is going to give us most of our product, except for now we need to consider what to do with this blocking group, sulfonate. And this sulfonate group was really a great blocking group to use because it's one of the groups that we can put on and also take off under certain conditions. In fact, we can remove that sulfonate group by just adding a small or dilute amount of sulfuric acid, and that is going to allow us to remove this sulfonate group to give us a benzene derivative where now we have just our alkyl chain and our nitro groups at the para positions, which is what we're trying to achieve. And then all that remains from here is to oxidize this alkyl group into carboxylic acid. And for that, we just need to use potassium permanganate. And that is going to allow us to oxidize this compound into a carboxylic acid. So remember, the first step was Friedel Crafts alkylation, followed by blocking the para position with a sulfonation reaction, followed by a nitration, which is going to be directed to this position ortho to the alkyl chain because we have the ortho para directing functional group here from the alkyl chain and the meta directing sulfonate group all directing towards the exact same position. Because remember, this is the meta position from the sulfonate 
sulfonate, but the ortho position of the alkyl chain. And that gives us our nitro group, which we can then remove the original sulfonate by adding a dilute amount of sulfuric acid and then oxidizing the alkyl chain to a carboxylic acid to give us our final product. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up down below as it really helps the channel. And then for the next video in this series, I'd love to see if you could figure out the multi-step synthetic pathway to this overall transformation. Drop your ideas as a comment down below and make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you never miss out on another video. I'll see you next time.